Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, December 7th, around 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. We're looking at Fisher 3 on Mauna Loa, continuously erupting, and now just less than two miles from Saddle Road. We're also going to be sharing with you The Year Without a Summer, a new paper out by Willie Soon this year, as well as the Sunspot Cycle 25 forecast update. But the big story, recent mountain snow brings healthy snowpack numbers to Colorado. Keep calm. It's boom time. And the West, most of the Western states, specifically the Pacific Northwest, all 100% or more above normal snowpack 200 percent is uh seen predominantly around here some areas of oregon have ridiculous numbers here's 1600 percent of average up there in northwestern oregon but we do have a deficit in the south in the four corners region and there will be snow falling in that area so stay tuned for the forecast as snow's falling in the west avalanche risk will increase well, that's a no-brainer. And rain and mountain snow will be returning tonight to the Cascades with blowing and drifting snow Wednesday. And I believe that's in Montana. Yeah, Great Falls. Several rounds of snow expected for Minnesota. Say it ain't soda. And more than a foot of snow reported in parts of Anchorage with more coming. And schools are closed. And take a look at this. Right before Christmas Eve, we could have snow in 47 states. But let's take, take a look at the uh, forecast for the next few days. It's now currently snowing in southern Utah, and that snow is going to hopefully move into our region, bringing more snow as it drops down into New Mexico slightly there. But the big story here is Friday. This storm pushing in the Pacific Northwest is rapidly going to move down the Sierras and bring tons of snow through the weekend and into Monday. Look at that. Some of these totals could be six feet or more through the next few days. A little bit of a clipper moving through the upper Midwest here. Minnesota, Mi uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, all picking up snow. A little bit of snow in northern Pennsylvania, and that is going to be hitting at the end of the weekend on Sunday, as well as New York State and maybe some other parts of New England. But the forecast is snowy, and it looks like Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, will have a white Christmas. So that's good news. Now the national weather forecast, storm moving through the south, Pacific storm to impact the west this weekend. A storm is expected to develop over the southern high plains today and track to the mid-Atlantic through Friday with showers and thunderstorms. On the northern edge, snow, ice, or a wintry mix is possible over the central plains. A significant storm is expected to arrive late Friday through the weekend with rain and heavy mountain snow and gusty winds for much of the west. So click on your county for more details. Seismic update. We got no quakes in note. We got a rumbler here north of Iceland. We'll check out Iceland in a little bigger scale in just a second here. We've got a 3.0 in Rachel, Nevada. A 2.5 in Kimswick, Missouri. That's an interesting quake. But overall, very minor activity across the globe. As we move on to Mauna Loa and the Hawaii Volcano Observatory status report for this, uh, this morning, the northeast rift zone eruption of Mauna Loa continues. One active fissure, Fissure 3, and we showed you that live at the kickoff here, is feeding a lava flow down slope. Fissure 3 is generating a lava flow traveling to the north towards Daniel K. Inu Highway, or Saddle Road, that has reached relatively flatter ground and has slowed down. Here is the current map, the most recent map coming out. You can just see that flow front barely moving in 24 hours but less than two miles from a major highway that if it does breach this is gonna create a headache for thousands of people adding hours to drive around the island. So that's bad news. And let's hear what they have to say about the update. The lava from Mauna Loa is now less than two miles away from the Daniel K. Inouye Highway, also referred to as Saddle Road. The lava is moving at a rate of about 68 feet per hour, a little faster than it was moving yesterday. Satellite images show the northeast rift zone eruption continuing with a little change. Fisher 3 is feeding a lava flow downslope towards the highway with no signs of stopping anytime soon. The U.S. Geological Survey says it's still hard to predict when the lava will reach the highway because of the changing flow, the direction, and the timing. 
Thousands of visitors have been coming through to view the eruption, and Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth says that with the heavy traffic and bad weather conditions expected today, drive with caution and treat the area with respect. Yeah, treat the area with respect. Come over here to KITV and give them a thumbs up and subscribe. Really good footage over there. We also will supply you all links will be below like we always supply all of our links. This is the VOG warning map coming out of Hawaii so you can actually check where that dangerous conditions may be and you, uh, in order to avoid those areas perhaps. Here we are at the live stream uh, from the USGS. There are other live streams with other things, but this happens to be a very high resolution camera that they have set up here at Fisher 3. And you can see it is quite active. Huge amounts of lava pouring out of Mauna Loa with no signs of it ending anytime soon. Now, with all the eyes on Mauna Loa eruption, park officials celebrate a separate rare discovery. And this is really cool. Can you even see it? Let's open up the image here and take a look. See if you can see what this rare find is. Right here, this is a bird. It's a nocturnal seabird. Totally amazing. Almost extinct. The Aki Aki is an endangered nocturnal seabird with only 240 pairs known in Hawaii. After Slater located the Aki Aki nest and three Hawaiian petrel nests, Crews installed cameras to monitor the burrows. And sure enough, they got a shot of the rare nocturnal Aki Aki. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Not much else going on worldwide. Sakurajima, Popo, Shivalu, Shreventador. Normal activity from the normal actors. Here we are over at Iceland. Um, and the country as a whole has had moderate seismicity ongoing on the Reykjanes Peninsula, the Vatna Yokel, that area west and north of Austria. And let's just take a look at the Vatna Yokel. They had some flurry of activity uh, there yesterday. And here you can see there, there's Austria here and that flurry of activity up by Hidebride Mountain. We also have activity here at Grimsvolten and Bardabunga, but minor activity. Doesn't look like anything imminent here. You can see this flurry of activity connecting the glacier to this area yesterday. So. Things are afoot in Iceland, and we're keeping a close eye on it for you. Space weather update from Solarham. Take a look. We do have some flare activity, minor sea flare, impulsive sea flares kicking off as this coronal hole is now coupling with us and will send us, well, we're already in geomagnetic storm. Take a look at that. The phi angle completely shifting, the BZ going haywire, and more importantly, the magnetometer with a separation of over 100 nanotesla is definitely going to put us into geomagnetic storm. And we were at KP5, and now the current three hours, we're back at KP4.5 in geomagnetic instability. But I would imagine, based on the telemetry and the fact that the density is way up here, we're going to have some more pulses of speed coming up. Hopefully, above 550 here could get to KP6. All indicators are showing that. And here's the three-day geomagnetic forecast where they're showing that geomagnetic storm to last through tomorrow. So keep a close eye on the skies because we could get some amazing aurora out of this. Let's take a look at the aurora forecast. Not much going on now, but if this pushes back up into five, go out and look up into the north. Now, Willie soon sent me this over, over this yesterday to share with you all a year without a summer, a weak solar maximum, a major volcanic eruption, and possibly even the wobbling of the sun conspired to make the summer of 1816 one of the most miserable ever recorded by Willie soon and Stephen H. Yaskell. It's only 10 pages, awesome graphics, awesome information, easy to read for the layman. I implore you all to download it and keep it in your files. As well as a new paper, well, not a new paper, it's a few years old now, but machine learning and reconstructing the missing sunspots and forecasting new sunspot cycles. Willie sent us over his sunspot cycle 25 forecast update because he's heard me talking about these cycles on air and the fact that solar cycle 25 is as weak as 24, and it is not what the mainstream is claiming as one of the strongest cycles ever. So it's anyone's guess why they would be disingenuous. Here is the actual data, the monthly sunspot data, the actual machine learning forecast, and so go get it. 
Also, we'll share with you the WSO solar polar field strength. When these solar polar fields cross or they flip polarity, we get big uh, earthquakes here on Earth. So we're looking, forecasting this out. It's going to be a few years for this to happen, but heads up for a large quake coming in a few years as the solar polar fields flip. Now, if you go over to CIA.gov, click on resources and you find the Freedom of Information Act electronic reading room, you can find some amazing stuff. What we're going to share with you here is how you can manifest your future and your destiny and how you can heal yourself with your mind. Now, this information recently unclassified was top secret in 1983. But in the 29 pages in this document that we'll share below, you can learn how to change your future by using your mind and healing your body using your mind. This has all been hidden by the well, CIA because they love you so much. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be a hero and share this video. Support the work we do on Patreon and watch all of our videos commercial free. We love you. Be safe.